Hi, welcome to the Hawk Botanic Garden. My name is Greg Torres. I'm the horticulturist here at the Civic Garden Center. I've been here for about three years taking care of the space that we have and what we're trying to do in this area is to spread our practices through the entire eight acres of Hawk Botanic Garden. Cornelius Hawk left us and the park board a fantastic legacy and a number of woody trees. Some are quite large and great collections including magnolias and oaks. What we're trying to do is embellish this area and make it a great environmental education center for the entire city to enjoy. We're here in the Hawk Botanic Gardens, sometimes known as Sooty Acres. A little bit of history about this interesting facility. Uh, back in 1911, Julius Hawk brought his family from the Dayton Street District up here to the community known as Vernon Village. Uh, it was his two children, Cornelius and Catherine. Well, as they both grow, um, Cornelius purchased the property here around the corner from the family's home and transitioned it into the botanical garden that we know today. Today, Sooty Acres, or Hawk Botanical Garden, comprises eight acres, with two of it being dedicated here to the Civic Garden Center. There's been a close connection between the park board and the Civic Garden Center concerning this property for a long, long time. My grandfather, Cornelius, as I said, uh, he, he lived and, and improved the property for decades, but he was also the president of the park board. And he was the president for 20 years or so, at least until he died in 1967. He was still the president when he passed away in 67. I understand also that not only did he donate two acres to the garden center for their, for their own headquarters, uh, in the 1950 time period, but he, he also was a officer of the Civic Garden Center, a treasurer or, or an officer of some sort of the Garden Center. So he had a close collaboration between the park board and the Garden Center through himself, who was leading both boards in many ways. So uh, his idea from the beginning was for both organizations to collaborate in improving the property and maintaining it as a beautiful, uh, uh, urban oasis. The park board over the years has done a good job. The garden center last year in 2019 uh, uh, took the initiative to really do more to, to enhance the garden uh, beyond, simple, simp beyond simple maintenance uh, and to improve the, uh, the whole premises in, in markedly better ways. When I first came here I was delighted to be able to take care of the collections there's many different collections with, um, with trees and shrubs, perennials, um, and bulbs. So this garden was designed as a, um, a garden for all seasons. So when I first came here, I was really happy to be um, be, being able to maintain this garden. And um, I really liked the fact that it was an a beautiful botanical garden in the middle of a urban area. So with this partnership that we have with the Civic Garden Center, um, we, Cincinnati Parks is um, providing the space for us to be able to teach people how to um, plan their garden, how to maintain their garden, and how to maintain it without pesticides. So um, when this garden was given to Cincinnati Parks, there was an endowment that came with it. And so Cincinnati Parks has been able to use that, uh, that endowment to do some work within the park. Hello, my name is Sam Settlemeyer and I'm the volunteer coordinator at the Civic Garden Center. For decades we've relied on volunteers to help us in maintaining this space, Hawk Botanic Gardens. Volunteers have played a crucial role in planting, weeding, and just general maintenance of these grounds. We rely heavily on volunteers in every step of the process and will continue to do so for years to come. Both park board staff and Civic Garden Center staff are limited in the capacity and the amount of time they have to spend here and so volunteers help us get that extra reach and that extra knowledge as well in trying to maintain a botanical gardens. As we look to restore Hauk Botanic Garden to its original vibrancy, we're hoping to engage volunteers through each step of the process helping build up their knowledge base over time and helping to also build up ownership of this space. The more volunteers that we have vested here, the better this space will be both as a botanical garden with vibrant biodiversity and as an educational space for the Cincinnati Park System and the Civic Garden Center. 
We hope that we can get more and vo more volunteers involved and we hope that you can join us. Whether you can come through the Civic Garden Center at civicgardencenter.org or check out the Park Board website, there are going to be plenty of volunteer opportunities now and into the future and we hope that you can get involved with us.